Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Welcome. Join me because today we're making a paracord bracelet and this one is a design by D-Man McHugh called The Waterless Falls. This one is not the easiest bracelet to tie but if you take your time with it, especially with the tightening process so you get even tension in the knots as you go along you should end up with a pretty attractive looking bracelet. So this is going to require three pieces of paracord. Two pieces are going to be 170 centimeters and the third piece is going to be 140 centimeters. Start off with your two longer pieces of paracord and then just take one of them and form a loop. So just cross them over and then take your other one, dive it down through that loop and then fold it down the back. And then just reach up through, grab those two standing parts and pull them through. So we're just creating a cow's hitch around that loop. And before you tighten it up, grab your shorter piece of paracord and just feed it through the center of that cow's hitch. And then pull that through until you get to the center. And then we can tighten everything down. And then also adjust this loop here so it's around about one centimeter or half an inch. Once you've set your loop you should find that these two outer strands are your shorter ones and these ones here are your longer ones and we're going to start with the outside strands and run them through the center. So we want to take these two center ones to the back and these ones we want to bring to the front and we're just going to run these two outer strands right through the center and cross them over right over left and I'm just going to pull them all the way through Next we're going to concentrate here on the right and I'm going to take this one here behind the very center strand and then I'm going to run it down through that very center. So just fold it over and run it through the very center there and pull it through. So I'll give you a look at what it should look like. And then we're going to do the same here on the left. I'm going to run it behind that center strand. And then down through the very center. I'll just arrange these strands so you can see what it looks like. And then we just need to tighten this up. 
So pull the two outer strands, not too tight, and then we want to get these two here at the front and the two at the back and sort of pull them in opposite directions. And then I like to bring them all together and pull downwards. And again, tighten the outer strands. So it's a bit of a tightening process to get this looking nice and neat. And then it is the exact same pattern again. So we start with these two outer strands, run them through the center, crossing them right over left. And you should find that those center ones kind of naturally orient themselves two to the rear and then two to the front. So now if I do the right hand side, I want to take these front strands around the back of that center strand and then right down the center. So I'm just going to arrange these strands so you can see what's going on. So it should end up looking like that. And then I want to do the same on the left. Take that one behind. And then I want to run that one down through the center, right next to the other one. So run that down the center. And then again, we can tighten this up. So pulling the two outer strands, the two front ones pull forwards, the two back ones pull backwards. Again, tighten up the outer strands. And then the inner strands, just pull them down. So I'll go through the process one more time. Cross the two outer strands over in between the two centers. Want to cross them right over left. Then if we start here on the right, with the upper strand, want to run that behind and then down through the center. And pull that through. And then with the left strand, run that behind. And then also down through the center.
and then we can tighten this one up. And then we just need to repeat that pattern all the way down the bracelet. So once we get down to the end, we're just going to lock off these vertical strands and we're going to do that by tying a couple of cobra knots so take the ones that run to the back of the weave and then take the left strand over right strand over that and behind and up through the left loop So we can tighten this one down and then tie one more cobra knot. So take the right strand over, left strand behind and up through the right loop. So tighten that right down and then we can clean up this excess. So just grab you a pair of scissors and cut off the excess cord close to the edge of the bracelet. And then just grab your lighter and then singe and then press them flat and repeat for the other pieces and just be careful not to damage your cords when you singe these ones that come out the side. Lastly we want to tie a button down the bottom here so take your right cord and form a loop coming in underneath these two center cords and with the left form a loop on top and then Take this side up through the right loop and the left side down through that left loop. Then you just need to pull outwards get that nice and tight and then clean up this excess too. I've gone ahead and cleaned up the button and that is your finished piece, the front side and also the back side. If you have any comments, suggestions or requests, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you supporting the channel, I like you all and I will see you on the next video.